Howdy, so I got a request from a Wesley Roberts 714 um, asking me to break down the opening shot of a film I made called The Climber, uh, this shot right here. So, um, yeah, I'll do my best. I still have the project file, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so this is a project file, and I'll do my best to uh, explain why it looks the way it does. So... Honestly, I think most the most important thing is picking good models, you know, picking I most of these are pretty high quality photo scans. Um I'm kind of kit bashing ish um a few different scans here. Um you know, so this that's one. Um and this I'm reusing over here. Uh, the ground is a bunch of ground scans, photo scans, kind of piled, layered. So you see they're like different size. Um, oh wait, obviously you need the haze. The haze is a crucial part. So let's quickly, let's just go over like the, the main things first. Um, so what do we got here? Let's just look. Um, let's get the camera settings out of the way first. So these are the, this is the situation with the camera. Um, yep. Obviously the Shakeify, just to, for that little subtle movement. Um, that's it, really. I always do Passeport out. Pa passe pa passe partout. Um, because... Yeah, that's the first thing you want to do, and you want to set up your framing as early as possible. So then this haze, which as you can see is doing a lot of heavy lifting. Yeah, you can check out those settings here. Um, but it's just a yeah, it's just it's literally just a volume cube. Uh, doesn't even have a noise, so I don't know why that. Oh no, it does. Okay, right. So yeah, it just that means it's like slightly thicker in certain areas. You can see it's kind of not uniform. Um, uh, another thing you, you're probably noticing, it's like this ray of light is not, that's just um, in the photo scan, which obviously, you know, you want to avoid photo scans that have defined shadows, unless you just decide, I'm going to use that, I'm going to place my character right in the beam, it's going to guide the eye, you know, and you have some lights up here that kind of suggest them that might work, you know, the, this is the idea, so yeah, it, it, it's like using it to your advantage. Um, so let's quickly go over he these settings here. Um, ambient occlusion. It's not really doing anything, but it's on. Bloom, on. Obviously depth of field, boom. Um, you want to click these two when you have a lot of movement in your camera, but there's hardly any, so it's fine. Subsurface scattering, all of this, obviously. Um, and, it, you know, you click your... Um, objects and you go into that those textures um some of them will have screen space refraction and some of them some of them won't it actually looks like most of them don't so i don't know why i have that even have that enabled in the final setting but yeah you see look look gets rid of all of those shadows back there so it, like yeah that might be more accurate technically because there's a light there but that looks better to me defined it might, it might be more painterly whatever but it's like it's it's like use your um, yeah you want to use your eye and do s little tiny tweaks that you know like this is completely superior to this why because there's now too much light on this side of the screen he's being lit in a way you don't you know it's it's just but but you know it's there's no like that could be cool just about playing around experimenting but th this it's about light placement mm, that's quite nice. Yeah, it's just about light light placement, really. Um, I mean, that is it, essentially. Um, I mean, I can quickly go over, you know, the different lights. We can select them and look at them. So, so okay, so look, there's this big light here that's off screen. What is that doing? Just providing a bit of glowy haze for this corner. Now you can make that more intense, less intense. Um, it's really just about placing lights and being mindful of shadows and composition, you know, and lines. Um, popping a bunch of photo scans together. As long as you have nice elements, 
and your composition is strong enough, um, I don't think you can go wrong. I think you know EV can be can be cool. I don't know what else to cover. Like to me, this is this pretty simple scene. You know, it's just that slow build of elements that really, um, and then yeah, like I say, composition and lighting. So good luck. I hope this was helpful.